Hi, welcome back to CSS Tips and Tricks. I'm Steven Karecki, and today I'm going to show you how to use Firebug, which is a Firefox add-on extension, and how and why you should use comments on your website. So let's get started. Uh, first thing to do to find Firebug is just do a quick Google search for Firebug, and then click on the first link, which goes to the Firefox add-on page. And then if you're in Firefox, you can just uh, install it right from there. Um, and then it'll, once you do that, you'll have this great little icon on the bottom of your uh, browser. Um, so when you click on that, you get a view of the HTML and styles that you're using for your, that website. So uh, if we wanted to uh, say, I don't change the color of this text or something, uh, that'd be really easy to do. We could just say color, give it a color of white, and there we go. Um, say uh, we think this H2 could uh, be bigger. Oh, we don't have an element for the H2. Let's see here. Um, here, we can change the header background color. Um, we don't like that blue. We can change it, I don't know, to something like red. And so you can just uh, change different elements of your site like that without having to actually go into the code and say you're trying to space something like, oh, that header could be um, a little further from the top. So we could say margin top, and then uh, let's say one EM. All right, uh, so as you keep going up, you can just press up the up arrow and I'll keep pushing it from the top. Or if you go into negatives, you can I guess make your whole site disappear, but that's next to useless. Um, so anyway, so that's just something cool you can do. It's also very useful if you're working in something like WordPress where you don't know where all the elements are. So we could say, oh, you know, hey, I want to style the content a little differently. Well, we can see that in our style sheet, um, content is on our global.css style sheet on line 22. So if we head over there, we'll see our content is on line 22. So there we go. We found what we needed to change, and now we can change this to uh i don't know white or something for some reason and we'll go back and there we go oh it took our changes and of course it said everything else we did before back to normal but you can see how this could be pretty useful and it is very useful i use it a lot um here's a quick little bonus thing i also use this uh, program called xscope which is pretty amazing uh you can throw a grid up there and uh, make different uh, move the grid and uh uh, duplicate the uh, grid and you know to help you line up things uh, you can set up rulers and stuff and see how stuff will look inside uh, different browsers and in, uh, for the width and height and such uh, there's all sorts of awesome stuff in here uh, so uh, give it a try um, I use it a lot when I'm want to make sure things are lining up correctly when I'm making a website um, all right, so let's get to comments. All right, comments are very useful. As you can see, I just threw up. I, uh, I didn't throw up. I just put up a comment on my uh, CSS file here that says CSS tips and tricks. Um, and then in the index here, I did, I've been bad about commenting on my actual demo pages, but I do comment a lot in when I'm writing my own sites. Um, a good one to use is say we have our header up here. Here's the ending div for our header. So now we can say something like end header. Highlight that. And you'll see it's a uh, open bracket, exclamation park, dash, dash, uh, end header, and then dash, dash, end uh, caret, or whatever you call those things. Um, so then that'll just help you see uh, physically where that div ends and same for like end content and we can also add uh, end footer and we can do end wrapper and this can help you a lot when you're trying to figure out your layouts and trying to see where things seem to go Oh, okay, so I want to add, you know, my navigation and it needs to be inside the header. Well, I can see that my header ends here and not down here. So I'll put my navigation up here. So comments are very useful. 
and uh, don't be afraid to use them a lot and all over the place because you can help yourself. And if you have multiple people working on a project, it'll help them too. Um, so thank you for joining us in this CSS Tips and Tricks. Um, follow me on Twitter, and if you send me a tweet, I will try my best to help you out if you're having like a CSS problem or something like that. Or if you just want to send me a message for some other reason, that's fine too. But uh, thank you, and we'll see you next week.